Hello everyone, this is Vito's A First, back again with another deck of you today. We're looking at the brand new second edition Copperhead deck from Legends Playing Cards. Still hoping to get the first or even the third edition. There is a first edition in blue, which was sold out by the time I saw these on their website. I'm not sure if they released all of them or if they only released some of them. I did see something on their Instagram where they said they might release more. There was also a very limited amount of a holographic copper holographic edition, third edition. These are designed by Nick Vlau, who's done a number of deck designs in the past. Very classic looking. And they fit us a brand new Viper Finis. A Viper Finis. The front, it says, I'll show you this one because like, if you see this one, it's a little bit hard to see. The front says LPCC for Legends Playing Card Company, Copperhead Playing Cards, Ultra Fin, Viper Finis. Legends Point Card Company on one side, Booker says Viper Finis on the other, Supreme Quality on top, and it says Second Edition Viper Finis printed in China. On the bottom, the back is the back design. You can see there is a nice emboss on the front, on some of the details. And the flap, a long kind of a tongue, but nothing else there. Inside you get a couple of jokers obviously one in black. It's a viper and one in red or maybe it's a copperhead or both technically um, The back design Pretty nice simple classic. It is hard to see I would have preferred if they did like maybe a gray on yellow. Maybe that would have looked better. It's just The white doesn't work very well on this yellow or maybe just a different shade of yellow would have worked better something that there's a little bit more Distinction between the colors, you know The ace of spades is just that You can see the emboss if I saw you to finish very cool The ace of diamonds is the big one or it says it's the main one instead of the ace of spades it says Legends playing card company mirror image with a nice custom pip and then everything else is completely standard number cards or code cards on this deck are standard Um I will show you that this deck, the yellow one for some reason, does not handle the best for some reason. I don't know why. I've tried shuffling it, breaking it in, but it hasn't really improved. I, I just want to assume that is it's a uh, kind of a dud. <laughs> we'll see because the gray one actually handles decently. Um, it's interesting too because it says in the information that the new Viper Finish is highly resistant to humidity changes and You know, it should be good They have the same jokers and everything with this one, but this one Actually handles pretty good And I'll show you the back design a little bit clearer on this one very nice I like it. it. Reminds me of some other deck for some reason. I can't put my finger on which one though. It is printed on an ultra thin stock. Ultra. Even though it's not actually a crust stock. It's not a crust stock. They say uh, pretty pointedly in their advertising that crust stock actually makes cards uh, less durable. Gives you a crust in the fibers. So I mean I could possibly understand that. It is diamond cut which is traditional cut. Uh, it says that the thinness of this deck blends the snap and thinness of a master or diamond thinness with the soft flex and feel of the rare stud thinness. And I mean, it handles pretty good, at least this one does. Put it on a European black horse stock, 800 decks of each, 288 of the copper foil, and the tucks, like I said, embossed with a matte stock. Pretty nice decks. I will say. B or B plus just because I don't think that this color works very well. The, I, I understand there's a reasoning for the colors because of uh, traditional stuff and probably uh, Chinese New Year type stuff, uh, kind of a gold color, but I don't think it really works very well. But that is that. Pretty nice. And uh, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.